Hi guys, welcome back to Hit the Green TMD in O-Gage, another little update. Um, things have been progressing slowly due to the fact that uh, had vehicle issues and various other issues that have had to be sorted and which obviously take preference over um, my models. Um, but things are moving on, bits and pieces have been turning up in the post and uh, things have just progressed slowly, slower than I would want but there we are. Um, work is quieting down due to the fact that one of our contracts is finished so that will mean more time off, less time at work although less money to do anything with. Um, can't have it both ways I suppose but I have a few kits that I can get on and build. Um, we'll just go through a few bits and pieces that have been through the post but anyway I previously mentioned these direct train spares rolling road in O gauge simple little rollers um, and these haven't chewed up my Helgen class 33 wheels any more than were done by the process rolling road that we had in a previous video so that's a step forward um, if I just lean over here slightly see so if I can find the packaging But anyway, I have bought from Hattons, arrived this week, some pipe loads to go in my open wagons. Um, they're too wide, they don't fit in the wagon themselves. So I will be tweaking that, restacking them and re-wrapping them. They're just pieces of metal tube with some tape wrapped around and a couple of bits of wood glue together weren't very expensive um, but yeah I can work with them got a couple of sets of the Pico O gauge buffer stops to go on the dead end roads which disappear out the back there which you won't, you won't actually get to see because they'll be hidden by the shed they're just hidden storage roads um, but the ones you will see will be the PH designs um, rail built buffer stops they're going to take a little bit more work to build um, what I have had sat on my bench for a month or so now is the Model U train crew um, they're Model U not Model Me in this case they're not scans of me um, they're very nicely detailed I did lose a leg off uh, this standing driver reading his paperwork his foot broke off when taking it off of the um, structure that is used when they mould them, uh, print them should I say, these bits here, his foot come off with one of them. No real drama, bit of glue, put them back on. Um, I have a left and a right hand driver, one to go in the 09, one to go in the class 33. Um, class 33... Um, how Gen supply these little pedestal seats that locate on the floor of the cab? Well, class 33s and 73s have seats that fold up onto the uh, bulkhead there, the draft screen, whatever bit you wish to call it. So I'll be modifying that, and this driver will be going in here. Unfortunately, he's going to have to have his legs trimmed so he will fit in, but that's a little side project. And what I have done is picked out some of the detail on the loco desk and painted the floor. Um, currently there is no cab lights in the 33 and I'm trying to figure a way of um, fitting those to the loco so that I can illuminate them when I want to. What is also missing off the class 33 desk is in this aperture of the window here you can see it from outside is the change in switch and there's actually no gauge light cluster on this side um, just little details that I'll be making a basic scratch build out of some plastic just so you can sort of see a resemblance of those bits and pieces um, little, little modelling jobs that take the time but uh, can be pleasure, uh, pleasurable little projects and the other thing I've been doing is painting the track. So I'm going to take you off the 
tripod as we are at the minute and readjust and uh, show you what's been up to there. Okay, so this is the track how I've weathered it. Um, I've done the whole layout exactly the same outside the shed. Um, first off, I sprayed the rails all over with um, rail match brake dust. It's a light yellow colour. Um, having masked over the point blades so that I didn't get too much paint inside. Um, not that that should matter because we've uh, made live feeds on everything and looped the wires together between the various rails. Um, and I then sprayed over the sleepers and various other bits and pieces with uh, sleeper grime which turns the uh, brake dust a bit darker in places so like the wing rails and bits and pieces are a little bit darker than the running rails. Uh, I then once it was dry went over with the track rubber and cleaned off the rails that is going to be used for the running on. This point here being the track that hasn't been used for a while that goes into four road shed. It's clamped out of use in a photo which is handy so I can leave this all clamped out and it'll look nice. Um, and prototypical. The other thing I've done, if I just move you up again from a slightly different angle, what I've done here is fitted the check rail to the inside of the curve into number one road shed. Um, here the green depot was slightly curvier than this layout is um, but as it was on the prototype I decided I would just make that little bit of detailing and fit it myself. Um, how I made that was was with a bit of spare rail and some individual chairs. I made the check rail and with all the chairs on I just shaved as much of the back of this off as possible. And also the chair that is moulded on the sleeper I just with a chisel just shaved a piece off. Before I then glued it down what I had noticed previously was if you touch the shiny sleepers with cellulose thinners, it goes matte, it takes the shine off. And, you know, sort of, I'm using, um, I suppose, likening it to etching the surface of the plastic because it's shiny like the buffer stops here. It's a shiny plastic and it just takes the, the shine off and it goes a dull matte colour. And then I just super glued it all on, having previously before that just... Um, Put a curve in the rail so it's not under too much strain there. So purely decorative but it's prototypical to the location. Um, and I've also used that little bit of knowledge on all my track. Um, with the damp cloth with a bit of cellulose thinners. I just gave a quick wipe over every sleeper. Um, you don't have to scrub each one but literally just a wipe over the track. And it takes the shine off before I painted the sleepers in the dirt. So yeah, that is where we're at. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Write your comments in the comment section below and I'll try to answer everything as quick as I can. That's where we're at. Just a small update and uh, I'll catch you next time.